What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Complete Control S61 Mark II. It's a long name. Uh, inside of Logic Pro X and connect it and make it work. When they were doing the promo videos, they were like really showcasing how you can use this thing to control Logic. So I was really interested to see how this was going to connect and how this was going to work and how I was going to be able to establish a workflow with this particular controller inside of this software. So the first thing you want to want to do, going to want to do, is go here inside of Logic uh, preferences under preferences control surfaces and set up and make sure that you have it connected now it prompted me to automatically connect it when I hook my keyboard up to my computer and I had logic open but just in case it doesn't do you that way go here into control surfaces and set that up and you should be good to go once you've done that then you can do all the little things like move through your tracks here um, you can move through you know your timeline here using this little scroll knob uh you can also um you know do other things like control the mixer so i can mix these tracks and stuff uh you know and control all of that from here i can also mute and solo so if i hit the mute button here this little m and like tap this set this this uh instrument it meet this chat track it, it mutes Sorry about that. Hits the solo button and hits that. It does the same thing. So I can solo. I got my uh, play button here. Stop. Stop two times brings it here. Recording. You know, got my loop. I can turn that on and off. Turn my metronome on and off. Really cool features and stuff inside that. So let's kind of jump in and see what's the workflow like. What can I like really do with this and how can it really how quickly can i kind of get up and going so what we'll do is, is come out of this mixer mode by pressing the plug in button and then i can hit the browser button on here and i get access to my instruments now i had it i don't even really have to look at logic screen to be able to go through and do some real recording here so uh let's see here we'll pick up something like we got over here subtypes I'll go over here and pick up a piano or electric piano, maybe. Let's see, subtypes. We'll go electric piano. And this little thing kind of... So I like that. You know, it gives you those previews. That's really cool without having to load it up. So when I'm ready for it, I can hit load and actually load it. So it'll go ahead and load up here. Take a quick second. Um, while that's doing that, I'll go ahead and set my tempo. Uh, inside of Logic, we'll just go something like 85, and see. So you can see I got the Scarby loaded up here, so I can go ahead and hit record here. You know that's kind of rolling, so I can hit that. Hit the play button and I can scroll on down to my next one and let's say we want to bring in a drum kit hit my browser and we'll just go with this 50s drummer I'm not going to do anything crazy with it you know I'll just go ahead and hit load and that loads up so I'll go ahead and hit record Kind of keep moving through it i can go down to my next track and hit the browser let's look for a bass so we'll go all types bass and then i'll go to a finger bass let's go with that load that in that 
So now I can kind of roll through and like work with my mixer. And I got my levels. It shows all of the meters, shows everything that I'm doing. So if I want to bring that drum kit completely down, I can do that. Or more bass. Can bring that bass up. Bring that down. Bring that up. Say if I want to mute something, I can hit mute. Or if I want to solo my EP. So it's pretty cool. So pretty dope stuff. What easy way that you can kind of get around the software, creating, finding song, sounds, loading them up, recording. And I really don't have to have that. I don't have to have any interaction with, I hadn't even touched the mouse except to set my tempo. So you really don't have to have that much interaction uh, with the software. You can just focus on the creating and it's not all about trying to reach and, uh, and, and record. You can do all your quantization, everything off from the controller mix, do all of that all from right there. So hope this helped you guys, gave you a quick little look and a quick little insight on how things work with this particular controller inside of Logic. I think the integration is really cool. I'm really looking forward to them bringing some more integration to softwares like Studio One. I think they have an Ableton mode. I got a video on machine that I showed. Um, and so, hey, we're gonna just keep working with this thing and keep you know doing it. I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys, if you got it, if you bought it, I hope you're enjoying it too. Do me a favor, hit the like button, the share button, the comment button, all of those buttons to do some. But please, if you're not a part of the family, hit the subscribe button and we'll keep this thing going. All right. Appreciate you guys hanging. I'm out. Holla at your boy.